even though it's only been two days of eating like this, I feel better. Not that I was feeling terrible, but I feel better. Good afternoon. Scrag coming at you again. We are heading down a new path together. By new path, I mean a new dietary plan. I kind of talked about it briefly, but I figure I'll take this opportunity to fill you in a little bit more. So, I've been doing a calorie counting plan for the last two years, where essentially I eat whatever I want, and I just limit my calories to a specific goal. And it's worked great. I've lost 150 pounds. I'm in the best shape as far as my life's been. Uh, and I feel good. I ride the bike every day. You know, life is good. But in thinking about the long term picture, knowing that while I've got pretty decent health now, my food choices on where my calories are coming from are not necessarily the healthiest. And by that I mean, you know, eating hot dogs and stuff like that every day. I have no, uh, no misconceptions in that my intake of calories will someday cause me problems. Um, besides the fact that it's a hot dog, you know, it's, it's full of all kinds of preservatives and stuff like that, that our bodies just are not designed to handle. So I'm not changing my stance on my fitness pal. I still love it. I actually am still going to use it because even though my diet is changing, I still believe that staying within a calorie limit will keep you from gaining weight. Um, so what is the plan? I'm doing my own hybrid version of the McDougal diet, the starch solution, mixed with raw till four, uh, freely the banana girls diet. And by that, I'm, I'm gonna be doing as much raw fruit as I can get, as often as I can get it. and eating a high carb diet from starches. So I started eating uh, this vegan diet this past Sunday. My first meal, kicking it off, was simple, super simple. Beans, rice, and vegetables. And I season the beans and rice mixture with uh, a little sriracha hot sauce. And I'll tell you, for me, it's it's good. It might not be everybody's cup of tea or flavor likings, but uh, for me, it's it's actually a food that I enjoy eating, even without trying to be vegan. Um, so yeah, I'll pick this up in just a second when I get off this main road. So my first meal, as I was saying, was simple. And then 
I went ahead and I bought myself a rice cooker, a small portable one to take with me to work. So it's just at the office now. And I bought myself a bag of rice and a whole bunch of different canned goods. Uh, beans, mixed vegetables, corn, stuff like that. So now, for the last two days, for lunch, I make myself uh, two cups of rice and throw in one of the canned goods. And uh, yeah, that's been my lunch. And I'll tell you, it's, it's not difficult to eat. At least not yet. I mean, it's only two days in. It's Tuesday today. Come Tuesday next week, maybe I'll feel differently, but as I sit right now, I'm still enjoying it. I mean, the best part about starchy foods is their comfort foods, like Dr. McDougall talks about. And uh, the thing about comfort foods is they're foods that your body or your palate um, gets pleasure from. And rice is one of those foods. So, being that uh, they're comfort foods, and, and I'll mix it up. I mean, it's not going to be rice and beans every day. Although, you know, I've been eating a hot dog every day for Lord knows how long. And I've been able to do that, so I'm sure I could do rice and beans every day for a while before I got tired of it. So, reason, why, why did you change your diet? Simple, I'm trying to give my body cleaner energy, more, more efficient energy. And from the research that I've done, the body needs carbs. If you're active, and I'm active. Before, when I was 321 pounds, I wasn't active. So carbs, carbs might not have been the best source of protein, or sorry, not protein, best, best source of fuel. But, being active now, carbs will be used and will fuel my system better than the fats. And in my case, eating a hot dog every day, I was getting a lot of fat. Way more fat than I needed. And it, it was probably verging on the realm of unhealthy in the long run. Now again, my, my blood work that I get done every year for my physical always comes back clean. I really don't have much problem. But if you're if you're the type of person that drives a car, you understand that just because you drive your car excessively fast every day doesn't mean that your brakes are going to go out every day. It just means eventually your brakes are going to go out. And that's kind of how I look at this is eating healthy foods is a much better long-term 
maintenance plan for my body and its systems than eating unhealthier foods and then one day having a catastrophic failure of some major organ. Namely my heart. So that's kind of the reason behind it. I, I want to do that. The other thing, and this is kind of more a vain reason of doing it. So I've been 170, right, right below 171 pounds now. And I fluctuate between 171 and 175. And I've been that way for months. Even sticking to a, a lower intake of calories. I, I'm just not losing any more weight. No, I'm not. I'm not in need of losing weight. I'm not suffering because of my weight. Um, but my goal was to drop to 165. And then after I got to 165, I was going to work on putting more muscle mass on. Now I could do that either way. I don't have to get to 165 to start working out, but it was my goal. And I know that I can do it. And I feel like this is a way of, of helping me achieve that goal. I may be wrong. Switching to a high carb diet uh, may end up actually costing me a weight gain. Who knows? During Rider and Freely, they talk about this metabolic damage. And I don't know how much I believe it, but we'll see. And I have been calorie restricting, even though it's not been massive calories. You know, I've still been eating 2,000 calories-ish a day with just more exercise, but we'll see. Anyway, so that's what's new with me. Um, I'll just end this quickly with, even though it's only been two days, of eating like this, I feel better. Not that I was feeling terrible, but I feel better. I feel like, I don't know, like I'm just doing really well. And maybe that's mental, you know, the placebo effect, believing you're eating healthier, makes you feel like you're eating healthier. I don't know. But I feel better. Anyway, guys, that's it for me today. Take care. Ride safe. Bye.